Look at that bright green on Maxwell's back. He's displaying right now. He wants a wife, but look at that bright green color. Look at that bright green and yellow. Just so bright. Elliot, why don't you show us your back? <coughs> Elliot, why don't you show us your back? How pretty it is. Hi guys, you can see it's kind of gray out. We've been getting snow overnight. We probably got an inch. Still snowing, but very light flurries. It is, uh, there's people on the lake, of course. I didn't, I didn't record at Tip Up Town yesterday, but after church, we'll do some driving around. That looks kind of not much business out on the lake today. There's, you know, of course, people leave their shanties there. There's some folks way over on the other side. Not much business. Anyway, gas here is 229.9, which is 230. Um, it's 20 degrees out, it's 1022. And uh, even a fish stays out of trouble if he keeps his mouth shut. Is what the sign on that church says. So I will see you guys at church. Bye. We got some heavy snow coming down. We're just getting into Ross Common and big heavy flakes. It's gorgeous as usual. Yep, it's snowing. Okay, see you guys later.
pay the most careful attention, therefore, to what we have heard, so that we do not drift away. Drifting is not a good thing when it comes to your relationship with Jesus and obedience to God's word. It implies that there's no effort being put into the direction you are going, or that some other force is determining that direction while your hands are off the controls. Either way, the direction you are taking is not intentional. This is why the writer of Hebrews warns us, we must pay the most careful attention. I underline that because the writer emphasized the most careful attention to what we have heard so that we do not drift away. Down here at Trestle Park, something's going on. They got lots of lo loud music down there. Not sure what it is. Okay, we're um, down by our other, the other beach. This is the one we usually go to. But apparently what I was recording from right around the corner, just a few blocks away, it's drag races. Yeah. Why is he following us? Oh man, they got a lot. Look at the spikes in those tires. Wow. Can't see. No. We'll just go back out. Let's go back out. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Chasing you around. I, I don't want to go back there. I'm not going to. Yeah, I don't think he knows what he's doing. Going over here to, to the uh, restaurant. Okay. Oh, there. This is a great spot. I'll open my window. Okay, we just came around. Yeah, we just came around from the other end of this drag racing event. Lots of people out there in vehicles, and I don't know what all they're racing. Snowmobiles and I don't know. Boy, if you lived in this house, it'd be kind of noisy. Go down one of these streets and yeah, we're not gonna go in. We just for those who weren't watching the other day, I found out it's ten dollars a piece just to go in. It would be fun, but we're not gonna. There's a little place for sale if anybody's interested. Nobody paid me to say that either. They got a lot of. Uh empty whatever it is they got a lot of ice pushed up over back there it is just ahead I will not be I will walk down I will walk out and look but I am not going to be going in just so you know there's people looking too that's kind of steep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Chainsaw wood carvings right there. That's what we're here. Oh, it smells so good. That wood, <laughs> it smells really good. Here's the view from the other side. Again, we've gone around it.
it would be a blessing or a curse to live right next to the tip up town. What do you think? Back here's either the ponies or the petting farm. Well, there's the petting farm. Oh, they have sled dogs hooked up back there. <gasps> really? Wow. I want to get out. Don't go any further, please. Anyway, as you can see, Tip of Town is right to our right. There's the edge of the lake right here. People come and park to go into Tip of Town. Right, there's snowmobiles and I will zoom in and I will try not to shake it too much. It's getting really windy and cold. We're supposed to get a storm coming in. There's a sled dog. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like a Bellevue. Way cool. Anyway, it's really big when you're in there, but from the outside, it's okay, guys. I'm up on a hill above the at a dead end street. Give you another view. Of course, you can't see what's going on from the lake here because the family tent's right in front of me. If you go past that family tent, that's where the sled dogs were and stuff that we saw from that side. That's the street we just came down. It's beautiful snowing. That horrible wind stopped. <laughs> but it's beautiful, beautiful snowy. Alton Lake is justifiably proud of Tip Up Town. I think this is it started in 64 or 63. It's been going on for a very, very long time. So, there you go. We'll stop it here and I will see you guys at home later. Oh, there's the elephant ears. I'm going to roll down this hill. It's a little too steep. I would, I would love an elephant ear. Maybe I'll go home and see if there's a way to make them. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye. Coming out from the little side street to show, let's see, hidden figures. At the Pines. I have no idea what it's about. Never heard of it. There's Pete's call sign, in case you ever need to know. KE8BXO. Roger Dodger, over and out. Right? Kilo Echo 8, Bravo X-Ray Oscar. Yep. That's right. <clears throat> That'd be me. Hey, guys. Chewy's eating right next to me, so if you hear crunching, that's all it is. Birds just ate too. Well, they ate some. Pete gave them some dry pasta. Oh, I see. I only have about seven tenths of a gigabyte of 700 megabytes of free space on my phone. I may not be able to um, edit it on my phone. Pretty sure I won't be able to because um, it needs more space than that. So it's probably a good thing I'm still sitting up at my computer because I was just going to finish this and then go to bed. Not go to bed, go to the bedroom, watch TV. It's about 7.57. And, um, yeah, it's time. It's going down to 10, so we're battening down the hatches tonight. Nothing else going on at all. So I'm going to go and, uh, you know... Looks like I'm going to have to edit this on my um, movie maker, which means I have to turn off my computer and start it in Windows. Doggone. But get it edited because I got music and all that. That takes a long time. That's all that's going on. I guess I will see you guys tomorrow.
you know, tomorrow being Monday. Hope you all have a good one. I have my plans all laid out for tomorrow. And um, let's hope that all works out. <laughs> so I'll see you guys then. Have a marvelous Monday. Take care. God bless and good night.